All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, sorry, guys, I'm a little bit down, not feeling great, but I still thought I would get some video out with a big fight tomorrow. Um, Salman, I've got Salman here. Um, we've obviously seen the weigh-in today. Joshua came, come in at 240. Usyk come in in a career heaviest at 221. Uh, Usyk looking, um, looking great. Joshua looking great. Um, and, yeah, we've got a fight tomorrow. Uh, really looking forward to it, really excited. Um, Salman, what what are you making uh, of the weigh-in? What did you make of it? What did you make of Joshua's physique? What did you make of Usyk's physique? I think they both look brilliant. I think they both look ready to fight. I think it's going to be a good fight. Um, I think Joshua's weighed in at a good weight. Uh, I think this is a good weight for him, you know, to go the rounds. Um, I think I still think he'll carry his power um, at this weight. I think he'll be strong at this weight as well as fit for the 12 rounds. Um, I think Usyk's put on a bit more size. Um, maybe he's thinking um, maybe, he, maybe he wants to uh, increase his power. Um, but I still think that the fight is going to play out pretty much how I think it's going to play out um, with Usyk being the guy that's on the back foot um, and Joshua being the one, you know, uh, walking him down and Usyk's going to try to be skillful you know use his feet movement use his skills to you know out outskill Joshua but Salman Joshua is not really a pressure fighter he likes his uh, stand at range he likes to fight behind his jab uh, and especially after being knocked out by Ruiz Anthony Joshua has become very cagey so what makes you think he's going to walk down a very skillful Usyk that could tag him I don't, I don't think, um, what I mean by walking him down, I mean he'll be the one on the front foot. Um, he'll still be cagey just because you're on the front foot. He wasn't on the front foot against Ruiz. Carelessly. Pardon? He wasn't on the front foot against Ruiz. But you've got to realise Ruiz is a lot bigger man than Usyk. Usyk's a smaller man and he's not going to be as strong. No, Andrew Ruiz is a 280 nonsense. pound man. That's nonsense, but Ruiz, uh, Usyk can hit as well. Usyk and Usyk's strong as well. But I, I just I think I think in this fight Joshua is going to have to stamp his authority as a bigger guy. You got to realize Ruiz was two hundred eighty pounds. This guy's two hundred twenty pounds. You know, weight does play a massive factor. You know, um, and I just think that Joshua's gonna Joshua's gonna stamp his authority being the bigger man. He's not gonna allow Usyk to bully him. That's for sure. Um, Usyk's not. There's no way Usyk can bully Joshua. Um, unless Joshua's incredibly hurt. Um, if Joshua's got his wits about him, there's no way Alexander Usyk can bully Joshua. And he knows that. He knows that. He isn't going to stand there in the inside and start trading with him because he knows that would be risky. Um, and what he's going to try to do, he's going to try to outskill him. He's going to try, he's going to try, do, he's going to, you know, use his tricks, bag of tricks, as they say, to, to, to you know, win. I don't think he's going to stand there and start having a fight because then he's also in danger as well. yes, he may see that, oh, he's vulnerable and he could get caught. But, you know, at the end of the day, he's a smaller man and he could get caught as well. Um, unless he believes in his chin that much where he just thinks that, yeah, even if I take a blow, I'm still going to be here. But then that's fair enough. But I don't see it being that way. Um, I don't think even if he tries to get close, I think it, I think he could, I think it could be curtains for him personally. Um, but let's see what happens. But um, I think what I think, He's gonna fight. I think Usyk's gonna use his skill, his feet movement, um, you know, to 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 get a points win. I think that's what his game plan is. Um, I don't think he's looking to. Um, I don't think he's looking to. You know, take it to Josh or anything. I think he's gonna use his skills. He's gonna use his. He's gonna use his skills. But it, it, do you think Joshua's gonna be able to dictate the pace of the fight? Because Usyk might control the pace of the fight. Uh, which may result in Joshua tiring later on in the fight and potentially getting stopped. One thing I will say in this fight, one thing I will say in this fight, do you know how a lot of, like, there's been, some people have a, have a prediction that Joshua may tire later on and Usyk might stop him or Usyk could get a points win. But I just don't believe it's going to be, even if Usyk is having success against Joshua early on, wins the first two, three rounds. I just don't think with Rob McCracken being in his corner, he's just going to allow that for 12 rounds. I just can't see it, personally. Um, 
they will change the game plan up. If he's if if, if you know he's he's boxing KG with Usyk at the start and there's no real success there, um, I think Joshua will then take a risk and go for him. Um, he'll then have to be willing to get knocked out himself because I just don't think with Rob McCracken, with an experienced trainer like that, he'll just allow the fight to drift. Um, I don't think Joshua is the type of fighter that will allow a fight to drift. Even in the Klitschko fight, um, in the fifth round, like even though he wasn't really out of the fight, I think Rob McCracken told him in the corner that you need to stop stamping your authority now. And in that round, he came out and he did stamp his authority. And I think it will be pretty similar here if the things aren't going his way. Rob McCracken will give Joshua, a, 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 you know, a briefing in the corner that this is not going our way now. You need to, you need to change it up here, you know. And I just don't think, I don't think Joshua is the type of fighter that will allow the fight to drift. I don't think. I think he will take it into his own hands. Um, if, 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 if you know it's slipping away and Usyk's just, you know, using his bag of tricks, he, he'll go to Plan B. If that doesn't work, then, then there's nothing you can do. But I don't think he'll allow the fight to drift. Um, I think he'll be willing to get knocked out to get the win, um, but I don't think it'll get that far. But I don't. I don't think. I think personally that with Joshua's size, strength, sheer power, I think. I think that will be enough, um, in my opinion, to get this job done. Um, I'm predicting. I'm predicting. I, I think it could even be a brutal knockout. Um, a lot of people thinking um, that I don't think Joshua's going to land, but I differ. I, I, I beg to differ. I think Joshua is going to land. Yeah, but Usyk's got a granite chin. Let's not forget that. I don't agree with that. Um, I don't agree with that. Not when, not when, not when you're getting hit. You know, if you're getting hit consistently by Joshua, it's no longer going to be granite. You know, even if it is granite, he's still going to go down because Joshua has the power to even knock out a guy that has a granite chin down. That's not a problem. Um, I, I just don't think. It, people say he's got a granite chin, but he's never been punched by anyone of this magnitude. So I don't know on what basis we're saying this. Yeah, but let, let's let's be honest. We know that Joshua goes down as well. Yeah, but the thing is, and he has Usyk, I don't think he's banking on that. I don't think Usyk's banking on that. There's a difference. Usyk is banking on his boxing skills. Usyk isn't looking to... I don't personally think Usyk is looking for a knockout in this fight. And even if he is looking for a knockout in this fight, right, he has to put himself into danger to get a knockout. And that you got to realize this guy is not a full fledged heavyweight. He's not. He's not a big guy. He's not. He's not a natural heavyweight. So it's a very risky for him to do that. If I was him, I would use my boxing skills personally. Be, he's naturally the smaller man. His legs are not that solid, right? You can see from the way, and he, he's not. He's not the natural heavyweight in this fight. Um, if he, if if he does go for the knockout, I personally think he could get brutally knocked out himself. Um, because I don't believe he's a full-fledged heavyweight from looking at the way. And Joshua was a lot more bigger, stronger than him. You could just tell uh, from, from, from that way. And um, I think Usyk's going to use his skills personally. So, Salman, if we get to the, if we get, if we cut to the chase, you know, what's your prediction for this fight? I think, jo I, I think Joshua will knock him out personally. Um, I just think, with Joshua's sheer size, his 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 advantages and reach, all of those things, I think that eventually, I, I just I just can't see Usyk. I think Usyk will get knocked out. I just think as soon as as soon as you know, I I, I just can't see. I just can't see how Usyk is just gonna you know use his trickery for twelve rounds. I think he's eventually gonna get caught and hurt, and I don't know whether he's gonna be able to take it. To be honest, um, I don't know. Uh, but I, I just don't. I don't believe Alexander Usyk's going to be able to take it personally. I think I think he'll get knocked out uh, within. I think he'll get knocked out between six six to nine rounds. I can't. I can't. I can't. I just can't see it going longer than that. To be honest. Um, I'm going to put on my prediction tomorrow. Uh, but Salman, uh, I think you're very wrong about um. You saying Usyk can't win this? Um, I think you're underestimating Usyk's talent. Uh, no, no, no. The thing is, for my opinion of him being able to win it, I think what the tactics he used against Bellew, I don't think that's gonna really. I don't think that's gonna work here. Um, where he's gonna, you know, he, he's gonna drain Joshua. I just don't think that's gonna work because you got to realize this isn't at cruiserweight. This is at heavyweight. It is. 
you know, size does matter. Size is going to play an, uh, a difference in this fight. And you'll see it tomorrow. Um, you know, he's a great little man, but I just don't think a great little man will be a good big man. I just I just can't see it. Um, and if Usyk does, does pull it off and get a masterclass 12 rounds uh, points win, then that goes to show you where where Usyk's level is, um, in my opinion. But I just, I can't see that happening, to be honest. I think... I think he's going to get hurt in this fight. I think he can put very, very high chance of him getting really hurt in this fight. He might have a granite chin, but, you know, unless he's missing those shots for 12 rounds, if he does that, then kudos off to him. You've got to, you've got to take your hats off to Alexander Usyk being the smaller guy. Who's the last guy from Cruiserweight that came up that did that? I can't remember. So, Van der Holyfield. Yeah, Van der Holyfield. But, you got to realize who did he fight to win, get the, win the title? Buster Douglas was it? Yeah, but he beat Mike Tyson as well. Yeah, but you got to realize Mike Tyson was around the same. I think Evander Holyfield was around bigger than Mike Tyson in regards to height and reach and stuff. But this is Mike Tyson was quite small. But this this, this is a massive difference here. This guy's a giant heavyweight. He's one of the giant heavyweights. And this uh, Usyk, don't get me wrong, Usyk's not small, but he he's not a big, big man. And these guys are like Wilder, Joshua, and Fury. They're massive, man. They're massive. Can't compare it to that time. But if he does, if he does pull off, if he does pull it off, you've got you've got to give him the credit. It's as simple as that. Because he would have gone up to heavyweight and beat an incredible heavyweight. No matter what you say, Joshua is a credible heavyweight. He's a he's a very good fighter. So for him to go up. And, you know, and in this fight, I don't believe it's going to be where Joshua is an off night for Joshua. If Usyk wins this fight, it's going to be on the merit of his own game. So, yeah, but I, I don't I don't believe I, I don't believe he's I don't believe he, he'll win. And I believe that he's hittable. Um, Tony Bellew was able to hit him as well. Um, but I think those same shots, if Joshua can land, um, I think it'll be a, a total different story, to be honest. But we'll see tomorrow. Um, I don't believe he's he's uh, unhittable. But I don't think Us. I think Usyk can be hit. If I'm going to be honest to you, that's just right, my guys. prediction. Of that. I see it. Yeah. Well, what's your prediction then, Salman? What, give me a yeah. round. So, yeah. So my final prediction, um, as I said, six to nine. What you want me to pick a specific round or? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll say round seven. There you go, guys. Someone says Anthony Joshua will knock Usyk out in seven rounds. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, smash the like button, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bells to share the videos. I'll see you guys um, in the next video. Peace.